First, I just want to welcome everyone to the 2020 Mom Forum. We're really excited today. Um, it's going to be a cutting edge program. I'm excited just to have all these new innovative topics that are going to be shared today. So thank you. Thank you to the speakers for coming. And thank you all for joining us. Um, we also have 13 webcast sites around the country and over 150 people webcasting, whether it's at one of those sites or individually. So we want to say hello and welcome to those sites as well. It's very exciting. Um, I also wanted to thank the board members that are here and that are watching via webcast for joining us and for all your support throughout the year. Um, Strategies has been an amazing conference partner and doing a lot of the behind the scenes organizing the logistics for today. So thank you to them as well. And um, we also want to thank Cigna and Sage Therapeutics for sponsoring this event. So we couldn't do it without your support. So thank you. And then I also wanted to share that because of the donations of our sponsors, we were able to start the Charlene Ventania Memorial Fund, where we can provide scholarships to students, people in the military, and other government personnel um, to join us at the annual forum. So I know we have two sites that have received scholarships, as well as two people here in person. Okay. So, but we're really grateful for that and be able to provide support um, to people who could maybe not afford to come and we're just excited for them to join us as well. Um, next, I just wanna introduce Ryan Arnold. Would you like to come up and say a few words? He's from Sage and I had the opportunity to meet and um, spend a day with him about a month ago. So it's um, welcome and we'd love to hear a few words from you. Thank you. Morning everybody. Uh, we are, on behalf of SAGE, uh, honored to be here today. It's, um, we've gotten involved in this journey. About a year ago, uh, we had a, a result in uh, our investigational study in postpartum depression, which was very promising. And our small company at that time of about 50 people has started to grow because of our interest in, in hopefully developing a therapy for women suffering from postpartum depression. So we've been working very actively with the advocacy groups. Um, across the country to find out ways that we can help. Uh, so you're going to see us more and more at meetings like this, and our participation is really intended to learn, uh, to understand how we can fill the gaps in education and advocacy, in research, uh, and collaboration. So again, thank you so much to Kylie, to Joy, to Jamie, uh, to all of you who've done so much work uh, up to this point. We're very, very excited to just be involved, and please let us know how we can help. Uh, we're gonna be here today. You'll see we have a, a little tabletop to speak about our study, hummingbird study in postpartum depression. Uh, so please let us know uh, what we can do to help. So thank you very much. Um, and then lastly, uh, I would like to in introduce Joy Burkhardt our executive director and founder of 2020 Mom, the woman who does everything and more. So. Before, before Kylie steps down, I just want to say Kylie is our co-chair of the board of directors and she gets things done. So we're thrilled that uh, Kylie is part of our team. And board members, can you also just wave your hands? These are the people that help make things happen at 2020 Mom. Thank you. Welcome. Um, it's so fun to see so many of you that have come down um, from various states, part of Northern California, or Orange County, um, another Northern uh, California, uh, and then to have so many people on the line um, we just appreciate you being part of our family and supporting this important work. And those of you that are here for the fir first time, welcome. Um, it is a, an incredible, uh, not to use that word so many times, but it really is a family you'll find that we connect in meaningful ways around this important issue through stories, 
um, emerging considerations, right, research and important topics that we feel are critical to discuss. Um, and it's really just a, a warm community. And so um, welcome. I also wanted to give a couple quick shout outs to our sister nonprofits who are joining us today. Um, Postpartum Support International is represented with some of our, our uh, sisters in this work and also Maternal Mental Health Now. And so we just want to say thank you for the community. I wanted to give folks just a little bit of information about 2020 Mom as well. Um, most of you know us, but um, we were formed in 2011 at the urging of the state legislature here in California. It was uh, formed, we were formed through what's considered a resolution, so assembly concurrent resolution, and um, it was at the height of the budget crisis here in the state, and the Department of Public Health was actually called to form a commission to study maternal mental health after hearing the testimony from several families, including one of our guests here today, uh, Raul Martinez, who lost his wife, Kelly. Um, and so the legislature said, we need to do something more and we need to go deep into this topic and figure out what we can do as a state. Because it was the height of the budget crisis, that bill didn't go anywhere. And instead, the legislature asked for volunteers to form a task force or a group to learn more about maternal mental health and why why women are falling through the cracks. And so that's how 2020 Mom was born. Um, we started out as the California Maternal Mental Health Collaborative and then since have changed our name to 2020 Mom and um, are now doing work not just here in California but trying to inspire change elsewhere as well. Our mission is simple. It's simply to close gaps in maternal mental health care and we hope to do that by the year 2020 and really laying some important groundwork for change. You'll get to hear a little bit more about one of the key projects in getting us to that 2020 end date um, soon. I also wanted to just quickly share some of our key projects. I'm not going to go over everything on the slide there, but you can see that middle, um, middle line that says the National Coalition for Maternal Mental Health. You're going to hear us mention that coalition a couple times today, so I wanted to introduce that coalition the sister nonprofits that I mentioned uh, earlier, Maternal Mental Health Now, Postpartum Support International, and others um, from throughout the country join us on that coalition to do important work together, have a collective voice around federal advocacy, which you'll get to hear about uh, later in the day, also around a, a week-long maternal mental health awareness um, social media campaign and also some work we're now hoping to do in person around maternal mental health. That's in May, Maternal Mental Health Awareness Month. And also the National Coalition has declared the blue dot our national symbol for maternal mental health awareness. And so we're hoping to see the dot really um, take off in this next year through some partnerships that we're working on. So thank you to all the members of the National Coalition and we'll hear more about that, that work shortly. Um, the last thing I'll mention is the line on the bottom, which is the Blue Ribbon Commission or the California Task Force, and you'll hear more about that work today as well. 